Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make these delicious fried crab balls. These were really good and I can't wait to show you how to make them, so let's get started with the video. In a small pan over medium heat, add olive oil. Then add 1 4th cup of diced onions and 1 4th cup of diced bell peppers. Season your onions and bell peppers with salt and pepper and then saute them for about 5 minutes. When you're finished, set your onions and bell peppers to the side. Next, in a large bowl, add 1 4th cup of mayonnaise, 1 teaspoon of Dijon mustard, 2 teaspoons of lemon juice, 2 teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, 1 and a half teaspoons of Old Bay hot sauce, a half a teaspoon of pepper, 1 4th teaspoon of onion powder, 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 4th teaspoon of Creole seasoning, a half a teaspoon of Old Bay, 1 tablespoon of parsley, and 1 beaten egg. Mix everything together until well combined. Then add 12 ounces of lump crab meat. One third cup of breadcrumbs, your diced bell peppers and onions from before, and one fourth cup of green onions. Fold everything together until well combined. When you're finished, place your crab mixture to the side and take out a baking sheet. Next, take some of your crab mixture and roll it up into a ball. Make sure you roll it up nice and tight so it doesn't come apart. Repeat this process until you run out of your crab mixture. Try to make your crab balls around the same size. It might help to use an ice cream scooper or a cookie scooper. When you're finished, cover your crab balls in plastic wrap and then place them in the fridge for 30 minutes to chill. Next, in a bowl, add some flour. Then season it with pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and Old Bay. Then mix it together until well combined. When you're finished, set your flour mixture to the side, and then in another bowl, add two eggs. Then beat your eggs until smooth. Set your eggs to the side, and in one last bowl, add breadcrumbs and panko breadcrumbs. Then season your breadcrumbs with pepper and Old Bay. Then mix everything together until well combined. Set your breadcrumb mixture to the side and then take your crab balls out of the fridge. Now that we've chilled our crab balls, they should be able to keep their shape better and we can begin coating them. First, coat your crab in the flour.
then in the egg. And finally in your breadcrumbs. Then repeat this process until you've coated all of your crab balls. When you're finished, you can begin frying them. In a pot or deep fryer, heat vegetable oil up to 350 degrees. Fry your crab balls for about 4 to 5 minutes. Make sure to flip or turn them for even color. Once you finish frying your crab balls, take them out and place them on a wire rack. Repeat this process until you've fried all of your crab balls. Now that we've finished frying, we can move on and make our sauce. In a bowl, add 2 thirds cup of mayonnaise, 1 tablespoon of Dijon mustard, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, a half a tablespoon of hot sauce, 1 teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, so 1 eighth teaspoon of salt, 1 eighth teaspoon of pepper, some smoked paprika, and some cayenne pepper. Mix everything together until well combined. Once you've finished making your sauce, you can go ahead and plate everything up. And this is the finished result! These came out great, they were really really good. The crab bites tasted amazing and it went really well with the sauce. The recipe was pretty easy to make too. I think these would be awesome as an appetizer or like a party snack. Oh, and by the way, if you have any leftovers, you can just place them in the freezer and when you're ready to eat them, heat them up in the oven or an air fryer. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!